So if you're new to Mac you may not yet have a good system for organizing your files. Folders are the main tool that you have for organizing things on your Mac. So you're going to want to create folders, as many as you need, to get things organized and know where things are. Now typically you store all your documents in your Documents folder on your Mac. This could be either the iCloud Documents folder or your local hard drive Documents folder. They appear to be the same thing. So you want to use that as the main place where you store stuff. But you don't want to just throw a ton of files in your Documents folder. You want to create folders that you can use to organize things. For instance, say if you have a bunch of files that you use for work. You may want to create a new folder that just has work files in it. So you can create a new folder one of many ways. The simplest to remember is go to File and then New Folder. And you can see the keyboard shortcut there is Shift Command N. And that creates a new folder here and you can see it's called Untitled Folder by default and the name is automatically selected. So this is a good time to actually name that folder because you could just start typing. So I'll call it Work. Now I may also have some personal stuff that I want to store on my Mac. So let's go and create a new folder and we'll call it Personal. And I could put files in here based on whether it's something that has to do with work or personal stuff. So for instance I could go into my personal folder. I'll go in here and it's empty and I can put some files in there. But maybe I'm going to have a lot of files in my personal folder. So I'll want to actually have folders inside my personal folder as well. I'll create a new one and I'll call this uh, Home Expenses. And I'll store receipts and information about uh, things having to do with my house. I'll create a new folder called uh, Hobbies. And I'll store things in there for hobbies. Now I may want to have folders inside the Hobbies folder as well for different hobbies that I have. You can continue to create as many folders as you like. In different views like say in the Column View you can see more obviously what I've got here. I've got my main Documents folder and I've got Personal, I've got Work, and I have a few other things like an Interesting Articles folder, uh, Projects folder, that kind of thing. Under Personal I've got Hobbies, Home Expenses. And I can easily move files between these if I want by dragging and dropping. Uh, I could open up say multiple windows to do that. So I've got here's my Hobbies folder. I'll do Command N or File New Finder Window and I could go into uh, Work, my Work folder and I could drag and drop items between these. Uh, it's pretty easy to do that. You can also in a column view easily drag and drop things. So for instance in my Project folder I have a file here. I can drag into Work. From Work I can drag into Personal. I can wait a second and now it reveals the folders inside there and I can drop into Hobbies. So it's easy to move files around uh, but you're definitely going to want to create a set of folders and subfolders and continue to work on them. Modify them. Break them out. Like as I said maybe you might have a Hobbies folder and you put all your files in there having to do with your hobbies but eventually maybe it gets too big and uh, you can't find things so maybe you create subfolders, one for each hobby and then you drag and drop the files in there to create a better organizational structure. Uh, a typical Mac user is always creating new folders, always moving files around in different folders uh, and getting things organized uh, just the way that you want them. It's a personal preference as to how you set it up. So some people may have one folder with a ton of files. Other people may have dozens or even hundreds of folders uh, each with just a few files in them. You can easily rename folders just by clicking on them and select them and hitting Return and then typing a new name. You can, in icon view, arrange the folders like you want as long as you don't have any special arrangement settings. I have a range set to none so I can kind of organize them like that. You can drag folders inside to other folders and you can also pull them out the same way usually having two different Finder windows open to drag them or you could do it in column view. So for instance in column view I can go into projects and I could drag project A into the personal folder there. Um, so you have a lot of organizational ability uh, through drag and dropping, renaming, deleting a folder is as simple as selecting it and then uh, using command and delete to move it to the trash or just dragging it to the trash there. But keep in mind when you delete a folder it deletes all of the files and folders inside it. So you want to be careful when doing that.